Hi everybody, it's Amy here reading to you Judy Moody Saves the World, book number three, chapter number five. It's called Beetle Emergency. All right, last chapter was talking about the endangered species that the whole class had to um, adopt one and then they learned about them in the museum. Pig toes, pumas, and pimplebacks. And if you can remember, Judy had a beetle and they didn't have that beetle at the museum that they were at. So, beetle emergency. The very next morning, Judy started her own search for a real live Northeast beach tiger beetle. Before school, she grabbed a peanut butter jar from the recycling bin and ran out to the backyard. She tapped on tree bark. She crawled through itchy grass. She peered down into dirt. Here, beetle beetle, called Judy. Don't be endangered. Here she is. Here, beetle beetle, don't be endangered. She did not find one single beetle. All she found was an acorn hat, a slug, and a not recycled candy wrapper. Judy, called her dad. What are you doing out there in your pajamas? Looking for a Northeast beach tiger beetle, said Judy. They're endangered. Mr. Todd says saving endangered species begins in your own backyard, said Judy. Not before breakfast in your pajamas, said Dad. All beetles are still sleeping. At school that day, Judy searched for a picture of her beetle and a few facts. She looked in the dictionary. She looked in the encyclopedia. She looked in bug books. She even looked on the computer. No luck. Do you guys know what an encyclopedia is? An encyclopedia is kind of like what Google is now. It's a book that has a whole bunch of facts in it about specific things, kind of like a dictionary. Okay. Most of the Beatles in the computer were the John Lennon and Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney kind of Beatles. Oh, those are songs or singers. Anyways, the next day was Saturday. Frank Pearl called Judy. Can I come over? Not unless you bring Northeast Beach Tiger Beetle with you. Okay, said Frank. You found one? Judy asked, for real? Not a live one, but I found a picture of one. Do you have any stamps at your house? asked Frank. What stamps got to do with anything? Just go see if you have any stamps. Stamps with bugs? Judy put down the phone and ran to find some stamps in her parents' desk. Just boring old flags, she told Frank. Well, I have a gazillion of stamps and... How come you have so many stamps? I collect them. I was pasting some in my album when I saw your beetle one, or I saw your beetle on one of the stamps. <gasps> Ooh, Frank Pearl saw one of her beetles on one of his stamps? Mmm, neat. Bring it over right away, said Judy. Tell your mom it's an emergency. Half hour later, Frank rang the doorbell. Finally, said Judy, pulling him into the living room. Frank put his stamp album on the coffee table and opened it up. He turned to the insect in the spider section. Look at all the beetles, said Frank. That's a lady beetle. Those are good luck. And there's a dung beetle, a Hercules beetle, and a spotted water beetle, even an elderberry longhorn beetle. Which one is it? Judy shrieked. Frank pointed to a beetle with a shiny green head and eyes 
like an alien. There they are. And there's another picture. Must be a picture of the stamp. Sorry, it's in black and white, folks. Okay. So, Frank pointed to a beetle with a shiny green head and eyes like an alien. Printed below the beetle, it said, Cindella Dorsalis Dorsalis. That's not a Northeast Beach tiger beetle, said Judy. It's some kind of Cinderella beetle. It's Latin, said Frank. Latin? Don't they have any beetles that speak English? Read what it says underneath. North each, sorry, excuse me. Northeast beach tiger beetle found along sandy beaches in the Chesapeake Bay areas of Virginia, endangered by changes in habitat, human population, shoreline development, and erosion. My beetle's a beach bum? Thanks a million gazillion, Frank. Now I can work on my report. First, I'll draw a picture for the cover. Want some help? Asked Frank. Sure, said Judy. You can put the caps back on the markers. Judy drew many-legged northeast beach tiger beetles all over the cover of her report. Make sure they have biting mouth parts, said Frank. And wings. Oh, yeah, said Judy. Can I help color them in? Asked Frank. Okay, thanks, Judy said. Did you already draw your cover for the monkey face muscle? Yeah, said Frank. It's a seashell with bumps on it that look like a monkey's face. No lie. You can see the eyes and ears in everything. I got to see that, said Judy. She printed the title on her report in all caps. Save the Northeast Beach Tiger Beetle. Rare, said Judy. Double cool, said Frank. Just as she finished her cover, Stink came in the room and looked at Judy's drawing. Why did you draw fat flying footballs all over your report. There's her fat flying footballs, according to Stink, which are her beach tiger beetles. And that, my friends, is the end of a beetle emergency. The next chapter is called pond scum. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.